Stefan player one, Jeffrey player two. Should I put names up? Do you guys want me to put names like in this negative space? Like here and here? Yes. All right. Should I use their in game names? This is going to be so scuffed. Uh, maybe I should switch it back to this then. Then we'll do this. You guys continue watching the footage while I figure this out. Yay. Oorah. Where is text? Is it this? I just put like namas. Namas. Here we go. I think this is how he spells it. Satellite. That seems really, really like inefficient. So I have to. I don't want to make it like two separate things. Can I make? Can I make this smaller? Like. No, how come it doesn't work? Now it's just Dr. Toast. Fuck. Can I move? Alright, alright, alright. Let's do it like this then. Uh, this. Is that how you spell? I'm pretty sure that's how he use or how he uh, spells his name. Because he's a. Uh, IGN. Uh, we'll make them. I don't know what color. Red? Is this too conflicting? Maybe white was better. Is it is it double C? Not entirely sure. Uh, nope, this is double T. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, maybe I just make it white. I think I'm just gonna make it white. I think it's better, easier on the eyes. Then P two. Uh, make this like much smaller. Boop. Okay. We're good? Is this, I think that's okay, right? Oh my god, I've missed so much. Okay, it's turn... Is this turn one? Maybe this is turn... This has to be turn, like, like, turn three, right? Turn one was chalice on one. Turn two was Karn? But how do you play... Maybe it was Karn minus add to hand and then cast the liquid metal coating? Oh, we could, we could do something like that. We can do... I'm going to need to make like an entirely new scene for this eventually because this is getting really crowded. Probably something I'll do. Maybe I'll try to do it like during break. Uh... Oh, 
good size. Then this will go like boop. We don't need no life counter. They got life counter, boy. This is look. This, is, this looks so scuffed, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna need to hire someone to do a. Why did it an overlay? Turn one was ancient tomb. Turn two, car and fetch. Okay, yeah. Uh, then turn three is kill land, cast Cody and chalice. Oh, so it's just ancient tomb into nothing. Interesting. Okay, so that's a cauldron complete for doctor. Doctor. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So he draws Caracas. Not great here but you know still a land still does stuff i wonder if he has any legendary creatures that he can bounce himself to get some oh no but it's blood sun so it doesn't really do much tapping two mana activate stoneforge mystic for this g tank Seems solid. Attacking for five. Not looking great here for for toast. He sat it. He sat on my toast. That blasted. Oh shit! I already took the cap off this drink. Oops. So if we can find a way to bounce this germ, Karn is relatively safe. Because then he won't be able to equip. Jeffrey finds Ensnaring Bridge. <laughs> Top deck's another land, Plateau. Curious what else is in the hand. Topping two. Can't do that. That is an illegal play, sir. GTA cannot be equipped to the germ. I think this is what they're confirming now. GRV? What is GRV? I'm trying to figure out what GRV means. What is GRV? Ah, game's rule violation. Genius. Wait, why didn't the Karn die? I'm very confused. Was it? Oh, was it at six? Shouldn't it be out? One. If it comes in and pluses. Wait. Uh, I need to go back. Hold on. Sorry. But he might. No, he minus and got bridge. Oh, he attacked you with the germ. Oh. Why? Okay, so Jeffrey lands the ensnaring bridge, which is very surprising. <laughs> so, 
So Brunix, what happens with this type of like games rule violation? Do you just go back and it just doesn't have counters on it because it doesn't really affect the rest of the board? You didn't kill Karn because it's too late. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm assuming that you plus the card and target a land, probably scrub land. <laughs> you have to back up the attack. That makes sense. You wanted to ping with Jite after bridge was down. There is a smattering of... Uh, Legal moves here. Ga I guess games rule, game rules, games rule violations. <laughs> so that's another games rule violation. Swinging with. A Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, so Jeffrey plus the liquid metal coating to make it a creature. Assuming that he will, that this was a, a legal move, but it's not. So now Jeffrey realizing he can't talk to Vegite, but couldn't have even equipped. Makes a big difference because you would have plussed on his land and blown up a land, right? Yeah, tighten up your play, guys! This one might be going on YouTube, who knows? Any day now. <laughs> Very loose. Alright. Very loose. <laughs> Very loose smile. Alright, grabs Pithy Needle. For what reason here? Better yet, buy YouTube Premium? Send it as a gift? Wait, I'm buying YouTube Premium for you? I've actually been meaning to, like, switch my Spotify into YouTube. I'm so sick of ads, man. Fucking unbearable. <laughs> Wait, does YouTube Premium give me something? I don't really care about, like, YouTube... Like, YouTube Music is, like, okay. But for me, it's primarily because... I... I hate ads and I want to watch videos on the subway and I need to download them. But Spotify is so convenient because it like it's just so easy to like hear a song and instantly add it to a playlist to like remember it for later. It's also double the price. It's like 12 Canadian dollars or some shit or like 15. Actually, it's like triple because I only pay like five bucks for Spotify because I'm at U of T. <laughs> All right, so Jeffrey's our, our toast play might be loose, but he's tightening up this uh this game one here. Look at this board. We've been talking about YouTube and Spotify for like three minutes, and there's so many permanents on the battlefield that. I have no idea what the hell is going on. No, this is a cabal therapy in Doctor's hand. And for those of you wondering, 
I'm probably none of you are wondering. A lot of you who are watching know no Toast's deck, so he you know what he's trying to do here. But uh if there's any new legacy players here, um the land that Toast is tapping for mana generates two colorless sources. It's called City of Traders. And its drawback is that whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you have to sacrifice it. But if you see right here, this card is a uh, Pioneer All Star Blood Sun. <laughs> All Star because you play it with Lotus Field and it works the same. Instead of topping for three colored mana, though, you get the two colorless and you don't need to sacrifice a land. So Blood Sun removing all abilities other than mana abilities. So he still gets to top for two mana with zero drawbacks. There's a Lotus Field. <laughs> Cannot cast it, so he deals two damage. I love Torture Defiance so much. Can't wait for the new the new mana dork. What's it called? The Halfling Citizen? Yeah, he's playing yeah, he is playing he is playing Pioneer. We see Fable of Mirror Breaker, Shatter Skull Summit, Karn, Chandra, Blood Sun. The only thing not legacy here is Ancient Tombs and City of Traders. I guess Chalice too. There is Chandra Awakened Inferno. Plusing giving Docta an emblem, which says at the beginning of uh, his upkeep, he takes one damage. Plusing Chandra again. Cannot cast this Chandra. So I think if you wanna tighten up your uh not tighten up, but like if you wanna if you wanna imp implement a like more like better play is if you're gonna plus on the Chandra Torture Defiance, you should do it before casting your spells because you can see what you get off the top. He's gonna kept the Chandra. I guess you don't want to play the Chandra Awakened Inferno in your hand, or you want to play it because of its Stern Bridge. That makes more sense. Never mind. Ignore me. In this case, it doesn't really matter. This is why you need Force of Will. Yeah, but the Awakened Inferno has a clause there. It says uh, this spell cannot be countered. <laughs> Ooh, raw. And soon, soon, with the new halfling citizen from Lord of the Rings, okay, you won't be able to use Force of Will on these Chandras either. Skadoosh. Or Karn, by the way. So, I'm not, I don't remember the name of this, of this card, but it's Chandra's something. I think it's Chandra's Regulator. I think that's the name of it. But anytime you activate a Chandra spell, you can pay some like some amount of mana and it and it copies the ability. So Jeffrey's gonna plus pay, so he adds two more emblems. Gonna plus a Chandra here, I I guess. Need a spark rupture. What is what is spark rupture? Alright, boys. Let's figure out what Spark Rupture does. Is it just like kill all? Does it kill all like Planeswalkers or something? When Spark Rupture enters a battlefield, draw a card. Nice. Each Planeswalker with one or more loyalty counters on it loses all abilities and is a creature with power and toughness equal to the number of loyalty counters. Yeesh. That's pretty good. Three mana though? Makes them into creatures. Alright, so I'm guessing that Toast is the winner here. Uh, please correct me if I am wrong. But I'm pretty sure that that's that's correct. <laughs> anyway, how's your guys' Mondays going? Wait, isn't it kind of early for you, Brunix? Is it? Isn't it like? Are you three? Are you three hours behind?
Is it like five o'clock? It's a holiday? What holiday is it? Wait, does that mean PQ has a holiday too? Oh shit! And this guy was complaining. Oh, look at these fucking Canadians have Victoria Day. Look, just a couple weeks later, you get you get your own Victoria Day. Oh, thanks, Jeffrey. Wow, nice jump cut, sir. Wait, where are you going? Wait, come back. You need to play your round. It's Mems Day. Man, I don't want to go to work tomorrow, but we have Legacy after, so I, I have to go. Lame. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you guys. If you had a hybrid work schedule and you had, you had to go into the office three days a week, how would you schedule your, your week? I'm very, I'm actually very curious. I want to know what you guys think. Tuesday to Thursday? So you would rather come in like three, three days in a row, right? Because I think that's the only breakdown that you can do is like, because you have to divide, you can, you can insert like two days between. Or I know, I guess you could go like, take the Tuesday and the Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, then Thursday. Oh, interesting. So we have a breaker. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Because I've opted to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the office. And then Thursday, Friday is work from home. But my colleagues, so there's a thought seize from Dr. So my colleagues do Monday, Tuesday, Friday in office. And they do Monday, Tuesday, at, or no, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, Thursday at home. Oh, sorry, is that, no, 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 no. yeah, if you have hybrid, if you're, if you're, if you're hybrid work, so that means you're working five days, but you, you need to, you get two days work from home. Are they going out afterwards? No, that's the funny thing. They don't go, they go home. Which, okay, no, okay, one of them sometimes goes and meets with friends because they're already downtown, which I understand, right? Stoneforge Mystic? Noise. So there's a thought seize from Doctor taking Chandra Torch of Defiance. Um, Taos has just Awakened Inferno that we see, double ancient too. But okay, so here's the thing. I don't think he goes out, like meets up with his friends enough to warrant going in every Friday. I I have noticed though that Fridays are kind of less busy in terms of like subway transit, which plays a big like role or factor. Okay. So Toast goes down to 18, casting Fable of the Mirror Breaker, getting a 2-2 Goblin Shaman that creates a treasure on attack. Cut my deck! We say no. So Doctor searches out Cauldra Complete. Pretty much the go-to for Stoneforge Mystic now. I think the haste is what really gives it some, like, the extra oomph over Batter Skull. You can also do you also do it you're you're a little bit more proactive too you do it on your own turn and attack this looks very familiar so doctor is playing the same um mardu it's like a mardu tokens list but it's really looking just like mardu mardu stone blade like we saw a thought seize. Looks like Toast is getting a judge call. So yeah, he's testing out 
uh, staff of the toast. Itch no, no, no. He he is asking a judge question. He's asking a judge a question because the the judge for the event is uh, is currently playing. Yeah, we had like a like a short showing. So all, we're gonna see a lot of double. Like we had three film setups or three camera setups this week, but we only had eight players come out. So kind of low. I think it's because the weather is getting like really, really nice and people just want to be outside. People people go into cottages or like on vacation and stuff. So I don't blame them. I'm really curious what the judge question is though. Well now Jeffrey can pick up his hand. Sorry, Toast can pick up his hand. Got four cards in it. I think this is before, before combat. That's what I'm saying. You can go outside after or before because we're at two. Actually, if you're like playing sports and stuff, 2 p.m. is kind of a hard start. If it's like soccer or basketball and you're like part of a league or like baseball. Usually baseball takes place at like in the evenings though. Yes. Uh so on Sundays it's a 2 p.m. start time. Yeah, you can see you can see how like um what's the word? This is um Ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I use it all the time, but now it's escaping me. Cabal therapy. What are we naming here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on here? So Chandra Awakened Inferno is named. Hey, man. Tighten up the play. You got to reveal your hand. He has to, because you have to make sure that he takes all of them. Because if you had three Chandra Awakened Infernos in your hand, you discard all of them to Cabal Therapy. Tighten up the play, boys! Don't worry, I'm sure that we can yell at other guys here. In, in future rounds, I must, I must say. So Fable is flipping. Down comes Karn. Seeing a lot of Karn this this uh, match. Hey, did he lose life? There's ensnaring bridge. So I assume. This is rough. I wonder if Toast boards in Dead and Gone. These are the. This is the Lucy Goosey duo. This is the Lucy Goosey matchup. <laughs> so I think this is attacking Karn, right? Just loves him die. Okay. Karn served his purpose. Yeah, so they're just confirming what happens if Toast blocks with the reflection of the Kikijiki. Because the germ has first strike and it exiles whatever it deals combat damage to, it will successfully block. It does have trample, which is pretty useless, but 
Well, in that scenario. Wait, is he sacking the token for a Cabal Therapy? To take the ensnaring bridge. You gotta reveal your hand, man. I think what needs to start happening is if there's a card that you don't know what it does, instead of asking your opponent what it does, read it, please. Not only does it help the stream, but it also helps your game knowledge. Also, if something happens and a you a card you want a card to work a way that you think it does. That's a hard cast fury. Oh, that's not bad though. But yeah, so this happened with the Helm of Obedience. If a card works one way and you both don't know what it does, it could do other things as well. So if one of you reads the card, like it, I guess it, it doesn't help with Helm of Obedience because it's old and its text is basically like a literature book. Like Chaucer. It's basically written like Chaucer. Then... That's like fine, but like in cases like these, so both of you know. Well, we revealed Meltdown. <laughs> What's up, Josh? How's it going, big man? How's the next YouTube video coming? Wait, Josh, have you heard of Grand Archive? The Helm Graveyard combo is a computing error. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. We caught it. We know. Actually, how did we like? How did we figure out that that happened? I remember we were reviewing it on stream, and I think I was like reading out the oracle text, and we figured out that like. A player, like the opposite player, was supposed to win the match. You don't? Ah, oh, okay. Looks cool though. Yeah, but it's like, it's another anime game. It's another anime card game. I don't know. It reminds me of Force of Will. That's why I was kind of interested. Down comes Staff of the Storyteller. Creates a 1 1 flying spirit. Whenever a token, a creature token, very important. Whenever a creature token enters the battlefield, you put a story counter on it. Tap it and one white mana, and you get to draw a card. <sighs> kind of looks like AI art. Yeah, but AI art is like very anime made, like very anime centric. Let's be honest here. So Doctor is actually handless, or it has one card in hand now. Everyone reads Helm in the combo as I mill your deck and exile it. Yes, that's true. Everyone does do this. But that is why you need to read the entirety of the card. It's like Fury. It's like I, like I can cast Fury and do all of its stuff, but I don't have to sack it because I didn't read that far. Whoa. I can I can flash I can I can cast this card by exiling a red card in my hand. No way. Believe it, brother. Alright, equip Cauldra to Spirit. And he did it! The auto response! My guy. <laughs> All right. Is there anything Toast can do? Also, a note for future play: Done. You don't use your sideboard as tokens. You use your sideboard as tokens. Just remember that they're your sideboard. I guess it gets like it gets relatively difficult if especially if you're playing with uh Karn the Great Creator because you have such a toolbox sideboard you don't want to get them lost. 
Because if you go looking for a artifact to like tutor out, then you know it won't be there if you're using it as a token. All right, looks like Doctor wins that round. What are you guys having for big dinner? Had that come up because you cannot prove which cards are in your sideboard or not. It is very tricky and a messy judge call. Yeah, that's true. Like, I wouldn't do it at anything other than a locals. If you go to a comp REL tournament, do not use your sideboard. Sausage or spirit? <gasps> Ooh, that sounds really good. What kind of sausage? Not a fan of the asparagus, but I understand that you do need some greens. <laughs> but uh, the sausage and the chicken cutlets sound really good. How you how are you making it? Throwing it on the grill, or like saute or pan fry, Italian. Wait, do you go to Soloways? That is my favorite place to get uh like, like meats. Like hot dogs, sausages, burgers. Because they have like the uh, the yellow hot dog buns that like all like hot dog vendors use. That's the street meats. Oh yeah, you're Italian. Do you make your own sausages? That'd be dope. That'd be so sick. Man, I'm getting hungry. I haven't eaten anything. Not that good. Do you have a connection though? Do you have a guy? Tell me you have a sausage guy. <laughs> if you have a sausage guy, you can throw a sausage party. <laughs> you know, I have to find a way to get my mic to not think that my train whistle is a background noise. <laughs> Why not, man? Whoa! Turn one goblin war boss. This is this is a this is a change up. He got me with the schmicks. Jeffrey is schmixing it up. And now he's schmoving. Pack for one. Hey, lose two life. We're toast. We're toasting the toast. So Jeffrey, or wow, I keep saying it. So Toast should be at 18 life. Thank you very much. Good, sir. The beginning of combat. Uh, Doctor going to fetch for presumably a scrubland. Seems like it's a uh, black, white is the main colors. Ooh, plateau. Interesting. Down comes Karn. Maybe I should get a soundboard. We need a Karn sound effect. Maybe we just steal it from MTGA. What does he say in MTGA when he's cast? Is there like a Karn sound effect? Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. is this it? Oh, it's muted. <laughs> I got baited! What the fuck? That's not card? What the fuck? Oh my god. You know, I've actually looked into it, but I didn't think I would take streaming. Like, okay. So here's the thing. It also takes up desk space, and that's something I don't got. Which is why I don't have a why I'm not using like my third and fourth monitor. 
I'm very limited on space. You should see my my, my setup. It's kind of ghetto. I need more space. I would really like to have like a chat monitor on the top, but then I don't know where I would put the webcam. Maybe I put like a chat monitor. Maybe I do what my friends do and put like a monitor vertically and do use that for chat. That'd be kind of cool. But I I only have a few people who like talk consistently, so I don't know if investing or having a monitor just for a or a chat box is worth it. I we used to use my iPad, but I found that it was too off to the side and I wouldn't notice chat until it was like late and then it makes it awkward because there's always like this the the delay anyway <laughs> so this current is shutting down the staff of the storyteller draw ability prismatic ending on the liquid metal coating i assume get one of those massively wide i hate curved monitors I hate them with a frickin' passion. So that's that's off the table. Have I thought about getting a new Google Pixel tablet? I have not thought about it. I am now thinking about it. And I'm going to decline any any I'm gonna try I like I really wanna try it and like use what I have because I'm saving for a tabernacle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you heard me, chat. I'm saving. What? What do you? What do you call it? Toast? A a torn buckle? I'm saving for torn buckle. <laughs> I'm not capping. There's no cap. You know what? I could also I could get a car. I could probably get like a like a decently sized like boat, like a like a boat. A second camera. I have I have cameras though. The new Google Pi Why do I want a why I don't want technology that folds. That it's <laughs> pre-ordered now. Why are you shilling Google? You're sh you're shilling. We only shill magic legacy magic cards here, okay? We sling shells. There's two things we, we <laughs> Fuck! No! Wave Boy's buying into it! <laughs> Shit, he's got him! I'm gonna have to lock you up behind bars. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go kick rocks in the in the in the in the, in the prison yard, dude. <laughs> Alright. Down comes a second staff. Looks like Toast protecting the Karn with his life. Oh! Toast did the trick! He exiled... So Doctor exiled the liquid metal coating. And then he got it back with the Karn. You know what you need for prison? Google Nest cameras and floodlights. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're not wrong. We can, we can, okay, if it's all hooked up with Google, we can, we can start to stream what prison life is like. <laughs> legacy house arrest? No, legacy house arrest is if I, if I actually decide to host online legacy tournaments like discord tournaments i wonder if it would be too jarring because like i would allow proxies and everything i wonder if it would be jarring if people were too lazy to make paper versions of their cards and would just use like cockatrice instead if one person was using their deck and one person used cockatrice I think that would be too jarring. That would suck. Alright, can this Rabble Master take over the game? It looks like there's another sword to plowshares from Docta. Karn gonna take out the Scrubland. 
I know you've done it, which is like fine, but I wonder if it's too jarring for like to like stream it and then like post it on YouTube as content. Hardcast Simeon Spirit Guide. Let's try and push damage through. It definitely doesn't look good. Yeah, that's what I figured. I think it would actually w look worse than like just playing straight up two legacy matches on Moto. Like if you played like 1v1 on Moto. Having one person play in real, like in paper, and having one person play digital would be like like ultra uggo. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get through all of the footage. It's because Moto is ugly? Yeah, Moto is hella ugly. Like, so ugly that you can fucking make fucking waffles out of it. You use it as a waffle iron. Alright, we're gonna dead the Monastery Mentor. Plus, target the scrubland. We get in for four. <sighs> Not looking good for Doctor. That was a lot of lands. That was really unfortunate. What's happening? Oh, I think I know what's happening. I think this is time. That's my shoe. Is it my shoe? Oh no, maybe that's Nick's shoe. That may be Nick's shoe. That's Nick's shoe. Never mind. I don't think those are the pants that I'm wearing. 